Hi everyone, welcome to Embarrer 369. In this video, we will see how to create custom partition in ESP32. So, in the last video, we have seen basic commands and settings. So, in this Arduino ID, whatever the settings are there, how, how we can make these settings in ESP area. So, from the last video, I just left one of the settings that is called uh, partition scheme actually. So this partition scheme, like how to make a partition in ESP idea, so that we will see it in this tutorial actually. So you can see it here, there are a lot of partitions, there are 4 MB, 3 MB, 2 MB plus 2 MB, SPFFS. This SPFFS is nothing, just if you want to store some text file in a ESP32 in internal flash memory. So using this SPFFS, we can store that actually. So uh, in the ESP that I use, it is a 4 MB version. So uh, in the 4 MB, you can just uh, divide the partition according to your needs. So I will just tell you the example how we can uh, do this uh, partition. So before moving into the actual implementation, first I want to let you know about this uh, bootloader, how the bootloader will work in uh, ESP32. So in any microcontroller, the bootloader is uh, something like it is the first thing you will execute right when you just power up the microcontroller so what happens like initially the program whatever you wrote it will be in the flash memory so after the boot process all the boot process will happen it will be shifted to uh, from from flash memory to the data will be shifted to ram from there it will be start executing one by one right so similarly that is uh, uh, like similarly in esp32 also the process will happen in the similar manner so if you see this bootloader so if you go to the expressive yes, official website and type bootloader you can just get this uh, site so this uh, site i will give you this website uh, link i will give you give it in a description box you can see uh, they are given how the bootloader will work so the startup process so before that i will just uh, do one thing so that make it simpler so i'll just create a new project here i'll call it project one So I'll just build the project right now. So the project is building. So you see in this project it is a very simple uh, program. So there is one, one, one while loop is there. So there is a app mine is there. So before reaching to this point, before reaching this app mine, there are certain things happened actually. That is called initial, initial, initialization process. So we will see the initialization process in the ESP32. That's what uh, will be given in the startup flow. So I'll just opening this link. So this explains various steps which happens before app mine function of an ESP ADF application is called so before this before this what happens it is explained in this site actually so the first stage second stage bootloader the application startup executes so before that there are uh, things so this entire thing you can check it out how it works actually if you want to understand more about the boot up process so First of all, like why we have to understand this bootloader, like uh, why, what is the uh, significance of this bootloader? See, uh, in a bootloader, in any microcontroller, like uh, if you want to perform OT update, let's say like you install a firmware, let's say your device is already there, implement, uh, like placed in the customer's uh, site. So you want to remotely want to update the firmware. Every time you cannot go and update, uh, like uh, take your laptop and sit there and with programmer, you cannot uh, load the code, dump the code there, right? So instead of that, in remotely we can do it like the using the bootloader, like with the help of the bootloader, we can update the firmware remotely. So that is called OTA. So normally, if you see like uh, when when I created the new project, right? So initially the partition will be in the in the ESP32 partition will be like this actually it is like this so those details you can check it out in the sites also the partition table on the in the expressive uh, official page partition table below the partition table you can find so there is a default uh, partition this is a default partition in vs physically need factory these are the default actually 
so those things you can check it here also so this is the memory map of the esp32 this is how it will be so if you look at this partition table the first one is nvs it is non volatile storage which is used to store bootloader and partition tables and finite this finite is used to store default configuration parameters for wired and wireless communication on the factory it contains the current code which is running so now we will see the custom uh, like how to create a custom partition so like i have shown you like an esp there like if you see an arduino ide you already worked in arduino ide you might be familiar with this all the settings actually so these settings uh, this uh, partition table how we can achieve through esp32 in esp idf actually so that i will tell you if you go to uh, google and if you go to this so if you go to this link this link i will provide you in a, in a description box so in this link uh, you can see the csv actual csv file itself like how the partitions are happening so if, let's say for example if you want to see this partition huge huge app right so that you huge app you can find it here also yeah here it is if i just open that this is how they have done the partition actually this is the size in vs ota data app0 spf this spff is i we have created just to store our like if you want to store some text file so we can store it here so it is in hexadecimal format actually so i will just convert it into so so this much bytes are there so this is the bytes actually so if i convert the bytes to bytes to mb so yeah this much mb so 0.9 almost 1, 1 mb right so so that is the thing so 1 mb almost 1 mb not exactly 1 mb so almost 1 mb so 1 mb i'm just allocating to spff so another 3 mb i'll be allocating to uh, like my main program actually so how how we will achieve these settings in espadf so i will tell you right now so our project is successfully built so whenever i create a new project i already told you like it will be in this folder actually so the project one is in this project so just open this command command line I'll just go to this location cd plus that location if you want to know the current partition of the esp32 on this project so for that there is a command so this command you have to execute just execute that command it will show the partition table so you can check it out you can compare that partition with this yeah here so i just created the new project when i created the new project by default it create this partition table you can just compare it here so you can check it out it is somewhat similar so this settings and this setting is somewhat similar so initially it is like this so what we want to achieve is this partition actually so this partition so when we uh, complete this uh, process so we will have this so from this we will change to this so now what we have to do we have to go to menu config so yeah we are in menu config right now so first what you have to do is you have to change the size to 4 mb actually so we are using 4 mb esp32 i am using 4 mb so so depends on you like what version of the esp32 you use so 4 mb i am using 4 mb so that one then you have to go to partition table yeah this is where we are interested correctly so offset of the partition table this you leave it as it is so the first one so from csv file csv file we are uh, like uh, changing the partition so just keep it in this csv and uh, here on the center 
now you, you just note down this name partisans.csv so exact name you have to provide like uh, in the project so you have to just note down this name partisans.csv yes yeah that's it that's all you need to do so if you go to this website arduino website uh, you can just download this thing from here you can download that thing so i have already done that so if you download that you will get something like this so you have to go inside tools partitions here you can find all the csv files so huge app right so that huge app i just renamed it so you just copy you just rename this this one huge app so i already done the renaming and all so i already renamed to partition so initially earlier i told you you have to rename into that particular name which is there in the menu config so I just rename it if so you just open that file you can see it so all the data are there so it's fine so now what you need to do is you have to just copy this you have to copy that and go to this your project and you paste it here the folder of your project you just paste it here yeah now it came yeah it came now you can just check this thing also here just open it here yeah you can check this thing here also so that's it now let's build it again i'm just building it so the project is successfully built now let's check it out so i'm already in the project uh, location so as i told you earlier there is a particular command to check partition table so now if you check it right now boom yes now you can check the table so it is similar to the one we have seen here in the arduino id so this exact setting now we can we change it the partition table we change it so like that like it depends on you actually like how you want to change it so the values here it is in the hexadecimal like you have to change it in the uh, like it, it depends on you like whatever you want to like whatever the size you want to keep it you can keep it so that's it for this tutorial guys i hope you might have got some idea about how bootloader works in esp32 and how to create custom partition in esp32 hope you liked it see you on next tutorial have a nice day.